Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. So I'm going to do my update for um, August the 2nd. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm always just so shocked at every month that goes by. But August 2nd for Day of the Dead Project Pan. This was created by myself and Kim from Teacher Loves Beauty. And I just really, I really enjoy the whole event of this. Um, I take it kind of personally, the, the whole event of it, it just, I, I don't deal well with passings and the loss of loved ones. I really don't deal well with that. So for me, this is a little more of therapeutic and also something fun to do, but I also get to learn about the culture. And then for Kim, it's, um, she actually, this was her idea to do a day of the dead thing. And then I created a bunch of prompts and, and <clears throat> excuse me, took over a lot of the <clears throat> main things. And I asked Kim if she would do this with me though, because I didn't want to just, oh, what is going on with my throat? <clears throat> I didn't want to do it by myself. I wanted to do it with a partner. And she was so, so kind to agree to do this with me. And she came up with some really good prompts and she was always there to help. So I'm just really thankful that she agreed to do this with me and it's been a really great project so far I really wish I did a, a skull like a sugar skull but this is just not the time as you can tell by my throat <laughs> so this runs from November 2nd of 2022 to November 1st of 2023 and you select three double prompts all of those are listed on the Fantastic Ladies site on Facebook so please go ahead and check them out as well I will have link uh, Kim linked down below and in the title so my first prompts together, double prompts, are 9A, which is a favorite food or fruit. And that is a food themed or scented item um, or a food as an ingredient. So as long as food is in there somewhere, like in the name, um, the smell, like the scent, an ingredient item, like anything like that, you can use it. So I went with the Too Faced Bubblegum Lip Gloss. It's called Bubblegum Yum and it's the Lip Injection Lip Gloss. And I have finished this, so that is an empty item. And then the pairing item <clears throat> is for 9B, which is your favorite beverage. And that is a drink or water themed item. Not yours, but the, the person who's deceased. So you'll have to sort of read up a little bit. I wanted to do blurbs where I could explain all of this stuff, but I just have not had any time. And it's really sad because I did do a lot of research in the beginning and I was just so gung-ho about it, but I haven't been able to. So I really hope that you guys go ahead and read into it a little bit more. And if we can bring this back for next year, which I really hope we do, then I may try to do more of that at that point. But just now it's just not going to work out. But I definitely recommend that you guys go check out information especially and, and talk to those who do celebrate this. I think it's a fantastic event. Um, so this is the drink or water themed item and I went with the water portion of it and I went with the Sephora waterproof eye remover, eye makeup remover. And my goal was to go down to this line, but I feel like that was a super, super lofty goal. And I do want to bring in another prompt because I want to try and loop things as much as possible so that I can share the prompts with everybody. So I am gonna call this one Goal Met because I do want these to roll out. I want this to be in my empties and I really am using another one anyway. So I'm okay just saying like Goal Met, whatever, that's fine. I really did wanna to go to this line here but there's so much in here that I didn't gauge properly and I think I'm just going to use this as I need to use it instead of feeling like I'm forced to use it because I don't always need an eye makeup remover. So I will be calling this done. That is what I mean about being strategic. I should have put the line a lot shorter, but I will mark it and put it back in the drawer and it'll be fine. I'll use it in another project or just I'll use it organically, which I prefer. But that one I'm calling done. The next is 5A, which is red, a color packaging or in the name. And I decided to bring in my Chucky Blush Duo. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is like amazing. I love this. And it's from Glam Light. And I wish I bought the collection twice. I only bought it once, but I wish I bought it twice. And these are the blushes that I brought in. 
for 20 uses and currently I have used them six times total. I have used both and they are both different shades but I really like these and I really wish I bought an extra set of the blushes because they're so beautiful. I can foresee myself using them often and I'm trying to use other ones but I love the colors that they chose and it's so great. So I will probably check and see if they still have the blush collection available and if they do I might have to repurchase. But I'm still a little bit of ways from reaching my goal so I have 14 more uses to get. Now this is where I'm going to adjust a goal um, because I pulled the other item out, I'm going to increase another goal on another item, and that's this one here, which is for 5B, the blood of life, which is something you cannot go without, either makeup or skincare or body care or hair care, whatever. Just something in your collection that you cannot live without. And that one is my MAC concealer in the shade NW25, so that is my summer shade. It matches me really nicely. It does a little bit of brightening but it's not like too light that it makes me look like like it's too different from my my skin shade in the summer and this is all I have left on this item and I am one use away from reaching my goal but because I am pulling this out early I'm going to increase this one to complete so I'm going to try to finish this one in total so instead of 30 uses my goal will to be complete because I'm already at 29 uses and I'll maybe try and track my uses but I never fully track stuff like that anyway because I use my I use this every single day on my brows to like carve out my brows and on occasion I will use it underneath my eyes but I'm using it under my brows so that I can get through it in the summer but I'm really going to miss this when it's gone and I may need to repurchase because all of my other concealer is very, 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 very light. So I will have to repurchase this one and I will definitely repurchase this one. Now on to 6A, which is yellow. Same thing in the name, um, in the packaging, the color of your product or whatever, anything that's yellow. And I decided to bring in the Ellis Brooklyn Sweet Mini Perfume, and my goal is to complete this one. So as you can see, I have a little ways to go. I'm not going to bother marking it, but I definitely have a little way to go on this one. And paired with that is 6B, excuse me, which is Marigold, and that is a product with flowers on the packaging or an imprint of flowers, anything to do with flowers, flowers in the name or maybe an ingredient. And I went with my Ensley Rain Flower Moon, sorry, Flower Moon eyeshadow palette. I'm really sorry, you guys. It's I just put my son to bed and I'm, I've like wound down and I'm very, very tired. It's quite a bit late at night. Like for me, I'm a mom of a young boy, so I'm tired. By now it's like my bedtime so I'm finding that I'm very calm and like slower than normal <laughs> talking and, and energy level and everything but the palette is just so beautiful I absolutely love it if you haven't heard of Ensley Rain I highly recommend you check them out even their matte formula is wonderful however if you're in Canada you will pay heavy 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 for shipping and duty and it almost equates to like the value would be the same as the shipping and the duty would be the same as the palette itself so it's like double the price and I did not realize that so um, if I want something like that I'm really gonna have to make sure that I really 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 want it which I did with this palette and that's why I bought it but it has to be a real love palette for me before I will go and take the plunge because it's very expensive for Canadians or anyone outside the US. So my goal on that one was to use it five times and I have. Now that being said, uh, because this perfume is not completed, I am going to probably keep this in and just keep using it until that one is done because it is such a lovely palette. I really enjoy it. And if I put it back 
at some point I will. I'll just put it back, but this one will stay in. I'm just trying to use up another perfume right now that's a rollerball. Once that's done, I will focus heavily on that one. All right. So because I have removed this one and completed that one, I am going to bring in another prompt, which is for 12A and 12B. And 12A is rich families have servants guarding family possessions displayed at the altars. Now, that could be because some of the items displayed on the altars are very, very, very expensive and they don't want people like taking them or whatever. So obviously you would want someone guarding that. And so this prompt is for your most expensive item. So for me, I went with something that I truly cherish and I love using on occasion. I would love using it all the time, but I once it's gone, it's gone. So um, I decided to bring in my Natasha Denona Gold Eyeshadow Palette. This is one of my pride possessions. I love this so much. It's very beautiful and I feel like it's perfect for right now for summer. Like I try to have a tan or bronze skin during the summertime and I feel like this is going to be so lovely. So I'm going to bring that in for five uses. It will probably take me a while to get those five uses. For 12B, that is Aztec culture and that is the oldest item in any collection of any genre uh, like skincare, hair care, body care, makeup. So I went with a blush because I am trying to touch as many blushes as I can this year. So I'm bringing in this MAC blush and it's it's actually called a magic dust powder. Like, I'm sorry, I love MAC, but that is just the stupidest name. Honestly, magic dust powder, what? Just call it a blush, that's what it is. I'll swatch it for you guys. It reminds me of kind of like um, NARS Orgasm. It's sort of like a peachy with a gold shift, but it's not as, it's not as like strong of a, oh, I don't know how to explain this. It's not as strong as Orgasm X and it's not as dull as Orgasm. So yeah, it's like in between, but I want to use this five times. So pairing those ones together. I'm not sure which one I'll use first. Hopefully I'll be able to just use them together, but <laughs> those are the items that I'm bringing in. The reason I'm sitting so low on the screen is because I wanted to show my Day of the Dead skull here that Kim from Teacher Loves Beauty made me for my birthday this year. And I love it so much. And she also sent me this little Day of the Dead guy right here, which I think you put a sponge in the mouth, but I do have a candle, which I should have turned on. It's one of those fake little like battery operated candles. And it's right here and I should have put it on in his mouth. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that you could see them in the background. And I do have another um, Day of the Dead Skull that I usually put here, but I have forgotten in the last few months. So I'm going to have to remember that. But I tend to get lazy because I don't have a lot of time to like edit and create a fun background and all that stuff in my videos. And I would love to be able to do all of that, not just for you guys, but for myself as well. I think that would be so much fun, but I just don't have the space or time. And honestly, by the end of the day, I'm so exhausted and burnt out. Plus I'm trying to get better from a cold. So yeah, I got to heal because my vacation days are coming up soon and I want to enjoy, I want to be healthy and I want to enjoy them. So rest is very important <laughs> but yeah that's why I'm angled the way that I am but that's everything I hope you guys are enjoying this project thank you guys so much to those of you who are like creating or doing the, the project with us and also like choosing your own goals and having fun with it because I know it can be a little difficult when you're choosing two prompts together but I mean we're not like gonna scold you if you decide to remove something because you want to bring in a new prompt. Like we're not going to, we're not going to scold you. Um, <laughs> I just, I want you to know that it is strictly for fun. So try to be strategic and get through your prompts and I can't wait to see your updates. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. I hope those of you who haven't will join in at some point 
or hopefully for the next uh, round on November 1st or November 2nd, pardon me. But thank you guys again for watching. If you don't mind in the comments, leave a skull and a heart of any color. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye you guys.